What's up, guys? Happy Toaster Tuesday. Today, we're going to do a full detail on the XB. Now, I know what you're saying. Full detail? Man, this thing looks pretty damn good. I wouldn't do anything to it. Yeah, well, guess what? This is actually a disaster. If you want your car to look nice all the time, you get a white one or a silver one. But we are going to tear this car apart and we are going to clean the heck out of it. We're going to take care of the paint. We're going to take care of wheel wells. We are going to redo the engine bay. We are going to redo the interior and really get it clean. And again, I know that most of you say, wow, I wish my car looked that clean. Yeah, well, this car has never really gotten a great full treatment. Um, so we are going to give it today. And I hope you guys follow along and enjoy. It'll probably be a pretty lengthy video, but we're going to take care of all this crap. So anyway, sit back, relax. All the products I'll be using will be down in the product description box. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, hit me up below. So to get things started, we're going to go ahead and pre-wash the car. Now normally I just use a regular old hose and nozzle for this, but since we are going to be using a foam cannon and the pressure washer to clean some other things on the car, I'm going to go ahead and break it out now. I'm using the AR Blue pressure washer. Uh, this is electric, and what I love about it is that it never runs out of gas, and it's pretty small to store. So in my foam cannon, I'm going to use 303's car wash. It's a really good product, nice and gentle on your paint. So I like to put in about an inch worth of product on the bottom, and then I add my water, shake it up real good before I go ahead and hook it to the cannon. Whenever you're washing your vehicle, you always want to start from the top down. And in this case, I'm doing it in bright sunshine. So I want to do one panel at a time and then quickly rinse. The last thing I'm going to wash are my wheels. I never really use any kind of wheel cleaner or tire cleaner on my wheels. Regular soap and water does a great job. So when it comes to drying the car, I always want to go for one of the biggest microfiber towels I have. In this case, I got a waffle weave. These are excellent for drying the car. I always like to fold it up, uh, dig it as small as I can, and start with the windows. Since this car's out in the sun, I want to go ahead and dry the windows as fast as I can because they're going to be the things that dry the quickest and they're going to show the water spots. It's also a good time to load the rag up with some water because it works much better once it has some water inside of it. And believe it or not, drying your car is when typically the most paint damage occurs. So when doing so, you'll notice here how gentle I am dragging the towel across the car and not adding any additional pressure. So to get things started on the inside of the car, I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out as well as remove the floor mats. Oh, sweet. I gotta install that. So whenever I'm cleaning floor mats, I always like to hit them up with a whisk broom first. The stiff bristles free up any dirt that may be matted or stuck down below and also free up the fibers on the mat.
I'm going to be cleaning the interior of the car with this product called Folex. It's pretty much safe on anything that's made out of fabric, so I'm going to be using it on the armrests, the carpet, and the seats. It does a really good job of removing any stains and cleaning the fabric. So I watch this channel on YouTube called Detail Geek. The guy does amazing work, and I noticed that he uses these scrub brushes for his drill, so I thought I'd pick up a pair on Amazon. I had some small stains in the back seat, so I used a small brush and a lot of Folex. So since these mats are pretty dirty, I'm going to go ahead and use a pressure washer to give them a rinse and I'm going to use some APC or all-purpose cleaner to really degrease these mats and then scrub them down.
So now that the floor mats are drying and the interior of the car is still drying, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the engine bay. So when it comes to cleaning your engine bay, a lot of people are worried about getting certain stuff wet and you really don't want to go absolutely bananas with water pressure in your engine bay, but it's fine to get it wet. The two things that you really wanna worry about are your alternator and your intake element. So obviously you guys know I got an aftermarket intake, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover up the filter as best I can and I'm gonna go ahead and cover up the alternator. Everything else is pretty much fair game and as long as you don't go crazy with the water pressure, like I said, you can pretty much do whatever you want in here. Alright, you know what's next, the leaf blower. Alright, it's clean and mostly dry. We're going to leave it like this though. We'll dress it at the end after we've already detailed the exterior of the car. Now I know you guys might think I'm crazy going ahead and pulling the wheels off this car and cleaning the wheel wells, but quite honestly, it's never been done. And as you can see, just from hosing off the wheel wells, there's a lot of caked on junk in here. This is a great time to go ahead and inspect the suspension, the brakes, and take a look at your undercarriage and make sure you don't have any rust developing. Later on we're going to come back to these wheel wells and we're going to treat them to protect them and keep them clean. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you so much if you made it this far. I know this was a long one. There is going to be a part two. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and decontaminate the paint, clay, polish, wax, or seal. And then we got to go ahead and dress all the interior plastics. We got to dress the engine bay. We got to dress the wheel well. So lots more work to do. So look forward to this second video next Tuesday. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later.